Hey Jelly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this gorgeous ocean themed money today using some of Born Pretty's products. So this is the uh, plate that I'm going to be using. So it's one of their square plates and it's Sea World. So obviously it's very ocean themed. Um, there's really cute images on it. I love the little turtle and the, um, you know, the little fishes and things like that. So you are going to need to remove the blue protective film that comes with most stamping plates nowadays. And you could give it a wipe over with some acetone as well before you started stamping just to make sure it's all nice and clean. So it does have their like logo on the back and it's nice rounded edges as well. So I'm going to be using the, um, the stamping polishes but um, I'm going to be using them to create like a gradient for my base. So I've got obviously the lighter blue, the turquoise, and then going in with a darker blue. And basically you just wanna press it down on the nail and get roughly the color there. And then once you're happy, like with the placement, you kind of wanna just sort of like go up and down, like I'm showing you here. So you can do an up and down motion to blend the colors or you could do it from side to side. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to do this again because they're stamping polishes and um, they're quite pigmented so over a, a white base you don't need many coats to build up the gradient. So there you go. Nice little gradient going on there and then I'm coming in with the uh, top coat, a gel top coat to seal all this in before I move on to the stamping. So I am going to be using some Glitter Arty Glitters. Um, so I'll try and find the names of them. But to be honest, I can't find these on Glitter Arty anymore because I, I brought these ages ago. Do you know what I mean? They used to sell on eBay, whereas they've got their own store now. So whenever I look for these type of glitters, I can't find them on the store. So I don't know whether they've named them differently to what I'm used to or not. But if I can find a link, I'll show you one. But I'm sure you can get a similar glitter collection anywhere, somewhere else. So I'm using this rubber top coat from Kiki London um, just because it's more thicker than a normal gel top coat and it will allow me to add some of these glitters onto the top of it. So I'm just going to decant some now into this little triangle tray just so I can like move it around and just get the different uh, colour sizes and the colours of the glitters that I want. And I'm going to be taking some of this just because I quite like the pinks and the greens that are in this one, just to add some more, you know, different colors. And then I'm just taking um, like a, a rhinestone picker to pick up the glitters and then using the other end to move it around. So I'm using different shapes, different colors, as you can see here, and I'm just sort of placing it into the builder gel. I just want to make sure it's as flat as possible. And then, I thought it'd be quite nice to use the goldy glitters as like, like, you know, like the sand as the sand bed. So again, I'm just adding different colors, sorry, different sizes of glitter to the base of the nail. But I just think the glitter adds just like a really nice, um, you know, glamorous look to it. So I'm using the rubber gel as well and, and sort of like encapsulating these in. to make sure it's all lying nice and flat so there you go so that's that done so you want to go ahead and cure that into your lamp so that's the other nails I'll just show you quickly kind of roughly how I place them on the other nails and then you might not have to do this um, but you know just to make sure it's all nice and flat you can use like a buffer and file all this off just to make sure that your nail is all nice and smooth and obviously that is going to help the glitters uh, last a lot longer. So once you've done with all that, use some isopropyl alcohol and just get rid of that dust and, and clean the nail before you move on to the next step. Don't worry if it looks a little bit dull. Once you apply your final uh, top coat, it will bring all the sparkle back from the glitter. So I'm just going to be obviously taking various images off of this plate. So I wanted to start off with the uh, lighthouse. So for easiness sake, I did actually just apply this directly onto the nail, but I didn't want all of the bits that were on there. So I'm just using some acetone and actually just a cotton bud to get rid of the bits that I don't want. 
and I'm just going to go with a couple of these swirly lines it's kind of like you know the waves at the top of the ocean kind of thing so it's kind of like an under the sea theme but that's what I like about this you can very much tailor the images to whatever look that you're going for And then I'm just going to add obviously some of these images at the bottom. So you've kind of got this like corally, reefy <laughs> uh, stamping image. So I use some, uh, sorry, I use a lint roller just to get rid of the excess polish that I don't want. Because um, obviously I haven't top coated this, I am just carrying on with the stamping. So I don't want bits going on to the money, uh, obviously, that I don't want on there it will ruin the end look so i'm adding these fishes now i should probably place that a little bit better maybe placed it over the glitter because then it adds a little bit of color to the fish but what i like about this is because i've got like obviously a multicolored um like base and the glitters like you you can get away with just stamping this straight on you don't have to add any extra colors i mean obviously you can do advanced stamping and add colors that way if you want So I'm going to add this beautiful whale here and obviously I'll get rid of the bits of the stamping image that I don't want. So I'd say I really like this stamping plate. The only thing that I'm a little bit gutted about is that the mermaid image is just so big. You're going to struggle to kind of get that look across your nail. I think even going across like all four nails because like there isn't particularly a face it's just like different lines it's not going to be dead obvious i don't think especially on shorter nails as well what it is that you're trying to to look so i would have liked like a little mermaid or something that you could have added in but that's my only sort of like beef with this plate <laughs> but i mean it's got lots of gorgeous images like as you can see here that you can just build up to create like a gorgeous ocean money which you know would be lovely if you're going on holiday and you're going to somewhere or maybe wait if you're going somewhere where you are going to go like uh, scuba diving you can go and look in all the you know the coral reefs which is it reef reef yeah <laughs> reefs um because the colors there are just so breathtaking and stunning so I'm moving on to the last nail now. I'm just going to be using this part of the wavy image. I'm just going to get rid of the bits that I don't want from that before I stamp it. I'm going to place it on the little pinky there. I do like the fact that you've got that um, like little starfish like in amongst the waves as well, just for that extra bit of detail. And then I'm going to be adding this super cute image here of the turtle and again that's been placed over some of the glitter which you can kind of see coming through um, so I'm going to apply the top coat and I did apply a bit of a sharpie pen to the turtle and some of the fishes but not loads um, and you could get away with with not adding anything um, to be honest but yeah so I'm just going to top coat all that now and cure it and this is the end look which i am super happy with it's such a gorgeous design so i really hope that you guys like it don't forget to use my codes for 10 percent off your order and you can use that even if the item is already on sale as well so thank you so much for watching today jelly babes and uh, make sure you press that free subscribe button and hit the like and drop me a comment it all helps with my channel and i really appreciate it bye